What's up guys, my name is Brad. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, what we do is we talk about welding and fabrication, machining, Fusion 360 tips. We're gonna jump into a lot of fun projects. So if that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button. On today's video, we're gonna explain how to create and cope tube and pipe in Fusion 360. All right guys, let's jump right in. Basically what we're looking at here is a couple of pieces I drew earlier. This is just a couple of tube assemblies with some coped joints. If we kind of look in a little bit closer here, you can kind of see that the cope is normalized. It has equal material thickness all the way around. That is ideal for welding. That's really what you want to look for, whether that's on a laser or whether that's coped by hand. Now, the first thing we want to do here is create a sketch. We're going to go ahead and select our plane. Then we'll go over and we'll create a sketch line. Now this line is basically going to signify our vertical tube. We're going to make that about 12 inches in length. We'll go ahead and make an eight inch horizontal line and that's gonna be another piece of tube. And then we'll go ahead and connect the two with just some random line in between. Now this is just a 2D sketch right now. We're gonna go ahead and exit out of this sketch and then we're gonna to go to create and we're gonna click on pipe and then we'll select the line that we wanna create a pipe segment in, whether that's pipe or tube. Now don't get that confused because pipe and tube are two totally different things. We have an eighth inch wall or a 0.125 inch wall. And we're gonna have a two inch OD with a one inch radius. Now that we're done there, we'll go back into our sketches, turn our sketches back on so we can see our previous original sketch. We'll go ahead and go into the create tab, do the exact same thing. Now you can see the profile that this tube kind of needs to look like to fit that other piece. Change that to a new body. We'll just check and make sure our size and thickness are right and then we'll go ahead and click OK. Same deal, right back into the pipe command, select your line, and that line is gonna act as the pipe or tube center line. Let's go ahead and do a section analysis here so I can kind of show you what's going on. Now how it's drawn is all of these pieces of tube are interfering with each other. We need to cut that all apart and make sure that there's a nice clean coped joint fit up so you can actually make it happen when you go to manufacture your part. Now we'll go ahead and hide the bodies that we don't wanna see right now. We're going to hit modify, split face, and then we're going to select the inside of the tube. Use your splitting tool, and then that's going to be the body that you want to split off of. Click OK. Now it doesn't look like a whole lot's changed until you actually take that piece of tube off and look inside. And you can see that there's a coped profile. Now the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and just use your press pull tool and then negatively extrude it, the wall thickness of the piece of tube. There you go. So there's your cope. Super simple, normalized, equal material thickness, and that's a cope that's ready to weld. We'll go ahead and repeat the process. Make sure to select the inside of the tube with your faces to split, and then use a splitting tool for the outside body. Now if we hide this piece of tube and look inside, once again, you'll be able to see that there's a profile on the inside that's representing the cope line. Go ahead and use your press pull tool, negatively extrude it, the wall thickness of the tube, and there's your second cope. Fits really nice, ready to weld, even material thickness. That's a really ideal cope. Split face, click the inside of the tube, select your splitting tool, and then click on your other body. Go ahead and hit OK, hide that piece, and then look inside, and there's your profile negative 0.125, enter. Now here is the full assembly, super basic, but you can do a million things with this. Now SolidWorks is pretty far ahead of everybody when it comes to tube, but Fusion 360 is catching up. Fusion 360 is absolutely amazing and I think they're gonna be leading the way pretty soon. There's always tips and tricks to be able to get around any things that you can't find or that you aren't used to. Well, that about sums it up for this video and I appreciate you watching. If you learned anything from this video, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.